Joining me now is Martin Ratz. He's Morgan Stanley's chief commodity strategist. Martin, it's great to have you here. And in many ways, what's good news for commodity investors is bad news for everyone else who's going to be relying on these inputs, right? Um, yeah, that's true. Um, the factor that binds everything together, is, of course, is inflation. We've seen inflation pick up. That is historically great for commodities. Commodities provide uh, good inflation protection. They've done so uh, once again over the last sort of 12, 18 months. But inflation also drive rates. Uh, and when rates go up, then particularly long duration assets with cash flows far out, some of the popular equity sectors don't do so well when rates go up. Uh, and, and in that sense, um, yeah, rising inflation, driving rates higher, um, favors commodities over equities. Yeah, and I don't think of commodities typically as a great investment over the decades, but certainly they can have periods of strong outperformance. So which commodities in particular do you think are set up for a strong 2022? Um, we think there's a very clean story in oil. Um, oil demand is coming back. We haven't been investing uh, for some time. Um, the oil price has already uh, disconnect from the marginal cost of supply some time ago. That's not what the oil price is about at the moment. The oil price is searching for the level where simply some demand erosion starts to take place because to balance the physical flow of oil over the course of 2022, that is what we need. We need a price that slows down this demand uh, recovery. And that is a that is a high price. It's not a price that is easy uh, to estimate. We put it at $100 a barrel. It could be higher, um, but we're still in that part of the uh, oil recovery uh, where oil can go higher. Having said that, though, uh, pretty good fundamentals for aluminium, for nickel, iron ore, um, sugar, for that matter, a bit of a derivative play on oil. Um, but there is also a lot to play for there. So aluminum, nickel, iron ore. What about copper, which you know people seem to be so bullish about because of the energy transition? Yeah, no, the energy transition features is widely across all of these commodities. Um, there, are, there are several commodities where the energy transition um, over the coming years will create um, very significant amounts of new demand. Um, uh, copper is one of them. Lithium is another one. Cobalt, nickel. Um, and there are other commodities, particularly the fossil fuels, where already today they are effectively a red flag for the producers of those commodities not to invest and we're seeing them slow down investment even before the demand rolls over. So the energy transition is sort of broadly supportive across uh, the commodity spectrum uh, for supply demand tightness, um, be it through the demand side or uh, the, 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 the supply side. We very much would expect that copper will also be wrapped up in that story. Um, but copper had a great year last year. There is an ebb and flow. Yeah. Uh, we're also some new projects coming on stream. It's not quite our pick for 2022. But over the medium to long term, uh, you're absolutely right to highlight copper as well.